Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Now, before we get started with today's video, we need to have a super serious talk. Some of these videos are extremely long and extremely boring, and I have to put in a lot of edits just to make them more digestible for you. Now, because I do that, a lot of times I'll put the link to the original source video in the description. So if you find yourself on another content creator's page, please do me a favor and don't bully or harass them. Remember, alpha males are people, and alpha males have feelings too. So let's begin. This is the time set for hearing in this matter. State is announced ready. Mr. Castro, are you ready to proceed? Well, I want my motions to be considered. I haven't gotten due process of the law. It's both in the Arizona Constitution. Well, sir, actually, I did consider your motion, and I denied them. Oh, you did? Because there's no basis in law for them. Come on, Judge. You must not know who you're dealing with. This guy teaches constitutional law to over 300,000 people. So I highly doubt that there's any argument that he'll ever make that doesn't have any legal basis. I'd also put in for a continuance because I don't have the body cam footage from the police officers. And I did apply for the body cam footage from both police officers. Okay. Well, I explained to you in the other motion or other response that you're not entitled to discovery. There is no discovery in civil traffic matters. Are you telling me that this legal expert doesn't have a basic understanding of how traffic court works? And believe me, that won't be the only thing that he doesn't understand. I see. So it's time to proceed. One, one more thing, ma'am. You know, I just want to put on a matter of record here that I did apply to see if these officers were on a Brady list if their testimony could be tainted because they're listed on the Brady list. And I didn't receive an answer back on that yet. So, you know, when that Brady list information comes back, if these officers are on the Brady list and I don't know that information, we don't know if the officer is being truthful. Sir, yeah, the question you. is what Brady list are you referring to? Well, the list to find out if an officer has previously perjured himself or lied on the stand. It's the Brady court. It's, so, a, it's the Brady court case from 1963 that would establish a list of police officers who have previously lied on the stand or lied in their testimony. And we don't have the answer back from that yet. I'm gonna be honest, before I saw this video, I didn't even know what a Brady list was. But literally, after only five to 10 minutes of research, I was not only able to tell what the Brady list was, but I was able to obtain the entire Brady list for the state of Arizona. So I don't understand why a legal expert who chose to represent himself isn't able to do the same thing. And spoiler alert, the officer who's the witness, Officer Trader, he's not on the Brady list for Arizona. Do you have any questions about how we're gonna proceed, sir? Uh, no, I just wanna inform the court that all of my phone calls are recorded, so I wanna make sure that's a matter of record. And um, I, keep, I keep very meticulous records of everything. Uh, and you know- well, Let me point out to you that you're not allowed to uh, record a civil traffic hearing. It's not a public hearing? You are not allowed to record it. The only person allowed to, the court records the civil traffic hearing. And by law, you are not allowed to do that. You really don't have to be a constitutional law expert to know that when a judge tells you that it's illegal to record your court appearance, that you shouldn't be recording your court appearance. I mean, it should be common sense, but apparently common sense isn't common for cavemen. Exhibit number one is going to be uh, a satellite image with overlay of how the intersection looked. So the vehicle in question, the Odyssey, was stopped uh, through the crosswalk. I would so object. I would object. Crosswalk. I would object, Your Honor. I would object that that picture. What's your objection? That is not an accurate picture. That is not a current picture. That is not a relevant picture. Okay, I'm going to overrule your objection. It's going to come in. Can I retort, ma'am? No. Oh, okay. No. No, God, please, no. 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 A slight argument ensued, and eventually Object. the driver supplied Object. a photocopy. And what's your objection? Well, Your Honor, he's classifying an argument when I was simply handing him my identification. I was getting it out of my glove box. He's, he's testifying he's that there was an argument when there... agree with it, but that is a matter of opinion. <laughs> I'm going to overrule the objection. Come on, Chili Riano. We all saw the video, and you were absolutely being argumentative. And I love how this judge continues to shut him down every time he brings up an irrelevant point. All right. Do you have any questions you want to ask the officer? Yes, ma'am. 
So, um, officer, the road was closed. Is that correct? The road was closed going from east to west? Uh, west of rural road was closed, but mm -hmm. the section in question was open to traffic. The intersection was open, but the the east and westbound lanes were closed. You couldn't go east or west, so or or maybe just west where the road was closed. Where I took a right. Okay, to I'm going to stop you. I'm going to stop you. You don't get to testify right now. All you get to do is ask him questions. Okay. Do you have uh, any other questions you want to ask him? Of course I do. I'm, I'm, I'm defending myself. Saying that you're defending yourself is a very colorful way of saying that you're making yourself look dumber than a bag of dicks. So then if you're taking a right-hand turn from the south as I was, then it's very possible that the driver could not have seen that the, there was road closures up right there. Is that correct? That possibly that possi exists, but right. there were signs saying that you shouldn't have taken the right turn to begin with. Sir, so you submitted pictures where there's no signage of a road closed. Is that correct? Okay, sir, uh, you don't have a charge with regards to the right-hand turn. So uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you to move on past that, please. Well, oh, yeah, that's another thing he does throughout his video. He continues to argue about a right turn, a U-turn, and signs leading up to some kind of road closure. All of which have nothing to do with what he was ticketed for, which was running a red light and making an improper lane change. Did you submit any pictures where there's proper signage that would alert, especially an out-of-state driver, that the road has been closed? Sir, sir, I'm going to stop you again. I'm sure. We've been going on now for 25 minutes. And this is not relevant to what occurred. You were not cited for violating anything regarding the road closure. So let's move on. You were cited for going into the intersection against the red light. So let's start with when you, after you had realized you made a mistake, what did you do then? Um, I, never, I, never, I, ne I never testified that I made a mistake, ma'am. What are you even talking about? Your whole argument predicates on you turning onto a closed road because there wasn't any proper signage. That's the mistake she's talking about. As far as your traffic tickets go, she's going to be the one that determines your innocence or guilt after you present your evidence. Is it true that in Maricopa County that there has to be three days of warnings for local residents that this road is going to be closed? Okay. Maricopa County law doesn't necessarily apply to the city of Tempe. Tempe is in Maricopa County. And the signs are not, yep. are not relevant. <laughs> Move <laughs> on. So, ma'am, are you telling me that if, okay, I didn't, okay, so. I'm telling you that the signs are not relevant. Not warning a driver I'm that the road is closed and the sign. Ten times at least, I'm telling you now. The signs about whether or not you could go down that road are not relevant. You were not charged with anything related to your movement and those signs. So, move on. Uh, Ma'am, I object. That's not true. The reason I took a right is because there was no sign that the road was closed. I've made my ruling. How many times is she going to have to tell you that you weren't cited for the right turn, you weren't cited for the U-turn, so the signage means nothing to your tickets? Wow. Tenny versus Move Brandoff on. forces me to just say yes, ma'am. Sir. I don't, I don't have any choice but to disagree with Move you. Move on. I see. Ask your next question. Yeah. Ask your next question. Okay. So, uh, officer, when you observed me make a U-turn at a closed road, do you have any understanding as to the reason why someone would attempt to take a right on a road that's closed? Uh, I have no idea why someone would, yeah. especially seeing that there was signage that said you can't turn. You're saying there was signage, but again, you didn't submit any evidence that there was any kind of signage. Sir, at all. Well, you're I'm, still on the signs. It's not it relevant that there was no signage? It's not relevant. Okay. Move on. <laughs> Officer, how- If you want to still ask him questions, you need to move on to the things that are related to oh. the actual violation in this case. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, you see all right, about as well as a psychic sees their own death, because you have zero self-awareness of where you're at and what situation you've gotten yourself into, which is clearly evident by the judge consistently overturning every one of your objections. He did not cite you regarding your 
attempted a right turn. <laughs> he did not cite you for a U-turn. He cited you for the other violations after that. So please focus on what is relevant in this case. <laughs> it, is it relevant how far back the 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 barricades no. were? It's not relevant, so I couldn't have no. seen it. Oh, it's not. No. This is Move crazy. On. Okay. Okay. This is just nuts. But I'm trying to get justice in America. So as we continue down the road here. So officer, how, how many Sir, how, if you don't stop making these statements, I'm gonna cut off your cross. Cut off my what you need your prof, you moron. Or are you telling me that as a legal expert, you don't know what a proffer is? A proffer in this situation is the person who's presenting himself to cross-examine the police officer. So when she says she's about to cut off your prof, what she means is she's about to end your ability to cross-examine the police officer because you have no idea what you're doing. To focus on the things that are relevant, quit making statements and ask the officer questions. Otherwise, I will have to assume that you don't have any more questions for him. Oh. Well, that would be an incorrect incorrect assumption. So, um, officer, why would why would a driver, and in this case it was me, why would a driver make a U-turn and turn around in an intersection, and especially in a very busy, busy area like Tempe that resides in Maricopa I'm County? I'm going to object. I'm going to say that's not relevant. We have moved on from the U-turn. He just doesn't get it. One of these days, Chili, two of your three brain cells will smash together and you'll understand why you're wrong. And then you went through the red light to turn from eastbound to northbound. So I'm just, I mean, you're, you're a police officer. You have all this experience. Why would someone run a, you said I ran a red light and okay, I'm going to. Now the, you're asking him to speculate as to why someone would do that. <laughs> and we're not here to speculate, sir. I don't know if this was ultimately Chili's objective, but you can literally hear him draining the life force out of the judge with every objection. Any other questions about the driving? Of course, if you'd let me ask them. I would just like to ask my questions. So when I'm being charged I'm, I'm, with sir, making... I'm telling you right now, <laughs> that's it on the, on the question. Oh, I'm not allowed to ask you any more questions? So you're denying me due process you again. Comments, you make okay. statements. Again, you're denying you me due process. On every comment. That's okay. So you're going to cut off Ross. I'm going to assume that you're done. Since I'm the not next done. Thing you wanted to talk about I'm not done. The argument that took into account. You're not so, allowing me to ask well, my questions. I, I can only assume that when you don't follow my rules. Assumptions are not a good happens. thing to make. So. Yeah, no kidding. Kind of like how it's a bad idea to make the assumption that you have the same legal aptitude as a lawyer does, especially when you're in court. Your rules, this is the Sir, court of law, I get due process. You need to stop talking now. <laughs> and quit laughing like you think it's amusing. I'm telling you right now, you are not following the rules of the court. You've ignored them and you've laughed at them and you've thought it was very amusing. I'm telling you right now, there are rules that we follow, and you are not following them. And I feel like I'm being denied due process. I warned you several times, I warned you several times, that if you continue to just make these statements when you were supposed to be doing questioning and cross-examination, that I would end the cross-examination having to assume that you didn't want to ask any more questions. And instead of asking questions, you continue to make these statements. So I am going to stop the cross-examination at this point. No due process. Officer, do you have anything else you want to say that you haven't already said? No, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. All right, so Mr. George, you have been sworn in. Go ahead and state your full name, spelling your last name for the record. All right, say and um, what do you want to tell me with regards to what happened? There's no evidence against me here, none. You have an officer's testimony. There is causation in this case. There was no signage for the roads being closed. I didn't know the road was closed. I wouldn't try to take a, a right on a road that's closed. It's preposterous, considering I don't have anything on my driving record. Why would I make a mistake like that in such a busy area? It's just silly. Have you ever actually watched any of your videos? You are the personification of what silly is. So yeah, you making a few silly traffic violations in the middle of the night, and then coming in and arguing against a silly straw man is right up your alley. 
And then when I made when I made a U-turn and turned around, I was in the middle of the intersection with no signage that the road was closed. And if you check the Maricopa County handbook, it says that it's a historic problem that there's no signage. And even if there was signage, I would have to get 72 hours of notice. I didn't get that. And then when the officer came up and asked me for my ID, I was simply getting it out of the glove box. To state that I was argumentative with him is just preposterous. It's another way to paint me in a negative light. It's just not true. Chili, you paint yourself in a negative light and you're clearly using lead paint. And the fact that you didn't allow me to finish my question in the dime due process, ma'am, this is gonna end up in appeal in federal district court. <laughs> Are you serious? This is, this is absolutely uh, uh, wrong what's happening right now. I have the right to ask him questions. If you don't like how I'm asking questions, you're, you're welcome to make me direct. But you're not allowed to tell me that my asking questions is over or I don't get due process of the law. Maybe, maybe this court doesn't under, I don't know, I don't wanna say anything. But what I am trying to say is that there's been no evidence presented. You have an officer who has testified that I've done some things, but he's presented no evidence. I'm going to stop you because you're making argument at this point. I'm testifying. You, you said I was testifying. Evidence. You want to present evidence. Yes, I, t I submitted a video that shows the entire thing. I submitted pictures that show. What video? I submit, what, what video? I submitted a video and I submitted pictures both. We have absolutely no video. Well... I'm sorry, Your Honor. I submitted. So we don't have a video. I submitted video and pictures, Your Honor. The fact that it's not here now to and, me, and honestly, is not surprising. Well, given your lack of mental acuity, that makes two of us that aren't surprised. To the court online. How did you send them to us? I sent them through the email Sir, submission. How did you send them to us? I can, if you want, you can ask again, and I'll, I'll continue to answer if you'd like. What I just said no, to you, I'm man, asking you. You're asking me for the third time now. Let me say it again. I submitted them via email. Oh, well, let me stop you. Are you streaming this hearing on YouTube? Your Honor, you told me I could. Uh-oh, and no. She clearly told you at the beginning of this video that you were not allowed to record this appearance and that it was illegal. And I don't know what's worse, the fact that you knew that you shouldn't have been doing it and still did it, or the fact that you posted it to your YouTube channel after you got caught. No, I said you can't tape it. You said we can continue. That's what you said. I told you over again that the rule is you cannot tape and are not allowed to record these hearings. Oh, okay. Well, I, that, that's what you we said, ma'am. I have a, to, I'll, I'll end the stream for you, though, if that's what you, if you like. We gave you the opportunity of appearing telephonically. We didn't require you to come into court to do this. If you are streaming that right now, you need to undo that connection okay. right now there you go ma'am i ended right the, now sir. there you go i ended You're, the stream man. you talk about violating laws all right guys that's the end of the video if you liked it leave a like if you disliked it leave a dislike but don't forget to comment below and never forget alpha males have feelings too i'm team skeptic and i'm out <laughs>